Thanks for viewing this video on bending thin gauge aluminum stock. Uh, it's August of 2015 and I had a need for bending some stock and without kinking. And I've tried several different ways I, and I could never get it so we have a nice clean 90 degree angle. And since I don't have a brake and equipment to do nice clean bends, I had to come up with a, a way of uh, doing that. So I'm going to explain my need here so you'll understand. And uh, let me shoot this side right here. Um, around here. Um, I needed to cover this with aluminum. I have a brick mold cover, uh, so I bought that. But I don't have any aluminum for this. So I just have need a piece of aluminum that will fit underneath this doorstop that will break at 90 degree angle in here. And then it will be all fully covered. So I had to come up with a way to do that. So what I came up with is making this handle and this handle and wheel this is a skateboard wheel here, that's all what it, what it is, and two bearings that has a 5 16 diameter hole in it. And so I took a 5 16 lag bolt, excuse me, a carriage bolt, ran it through and I used uh, copper sleeves that I cut from some copper tubing and, uh, and some washers and voila, I got a, a soft roller on a, a usable handle. So uh, what my thinking was that I would run this back and forth, gradually changing the angle and pressure on it to get a 90 degree angle. And so. Um, I did do a, a sample here, and you can see I've got a 90 degree here, and I, I managed to do a, a compound. I haven't mastered that yet, but there's a compound bend here in a regular 90 degree. So, um, anyways, I'm going to show you how to use it, and you can see it's a simple handle here. I notched it on my table saw, cut it here, broke the corners, and drilled a 5 16 hole through here. Everything is pretty much simple. All you need is pretty much a table saw and a drill or a drill press. So, but anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate it here. And I'm going to show you how I do it. Now I took this aluminum, this coil stock, and I measured a, a 7 16 mark here, and I, I put it right here so I have a nice 7 16 all through the uh, length of it that's hanging over. So let me just show you real quick here how I do this, and I'm basically just putting pressure on this now. As you can see, have some damaged stock in this section here from the packaging, but that's not going to cause me any problems. And I'm just pushing down and moving the material over little by little so we don't have any kinking. And as you can see, I'm getting a 90 degree angle here, slowly, closer to 90 after each stroke. And You can see I'm going in for the final pressure I'm putting on here now. And uh, let's push this down here. And so you can see a, a fairly tight 90 degree angle that I've got here. And uh, it, it, it seems to work nicely. And I've just done a couple pieces, so my technique isn't complete yet. But if you have to bend some aluminum, you need a, a plank. This is a piece of oak here that I had. I had two pieces of oak from a project I haven't started yet. Anything that's rigid will work that you can clamp onto. All you have to do is hold it rigid, and I could, if I was to do this whole piece, I would be walking back and forth on this uh, length of it, and uh, you would see the same results in the length. So here you have it. It's the, the coil stock bender, maybe under ten dollars, maybe under ten dollars to make this, and uh, on just another technique, do-it-yourself program at home. To, to bend some aluminum coil stock. I hope you enjoyed this. Use safety glasses, etc., just to be safe. And I hope this, this video was beneficial to you. Thanks for viewing. Bye bye.